We start the game by entering a life pod and ejecting from our ship. We buckle up and watch as our vessel explodes. We get annihilated by a stray bit of metal that definitely would have killed us in real life, but instead just knocks us out. Hey guys, it's Cobb, and welcome to Subnautica. This game fucking sucks, and it's not in a gameplay sense. It is a great game, but it's just absolutely terrifying. I can unequivocally say that I'm a complete and utter pussy. But anyways, let's get into it. We wake up from our little nap to find our life pod in flames. Being a professional firefighter, this is no challenge, and we get rid of the flames. We head outside and find our vessel looking pretty bleak, so I try and fight the fires from a distance to no avail. The Aurora suffered orbital power failure. So like a complete maniac, we jump into the water and bash the first rock we encounter. I grab some more supplies and then find a fish that looks like something it definitely shouldn't, but I have the degenerate brain of a 14 year old boy. I head back to the life pod to make a larger oxygen tank because knowing me, I will constantly forget that I need to breathe and just die because of it. I find a fish that farts and then laughs. What the fuck is that about? I head to grab some seeds so I can make some better fins, and on the way back I find some organisms that would have some crazy head game. The devs definitely should have called these guys suckers. This game is 90% laughing at goofy creatures and 10% actually doing things, and I'm all for it. Once back at the life pod, I make my faster swimmers and a scanner, which is crucial in surviving. Obviously, I start scanning everything around me for no reason, like a complete moron. I get some more supplies and make a knife that would go for about $800 on Steam. I head back outside and it is pitch black. Fuck that. So I head back inside to make a flashlight. On my way back out for more supplies, I find a new best friend, the Gary Fish. He makes cool noises. And I gave him a name, Gary. Then on the contrary, we have this cunt. What the fuck is his problem? I survived the night and I've made a repair tool to fix the systems on the life pod. It tells me the amount of hours since I've had some bitches. And I head out in search of parts for a sea glide and finally make one. This little bugger alongside an upgraded oxygen tank makes my life so much easier. I get a distress call from another life pod. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. And on my way there, I see this guy who looks pretty friendly. So I approach only to have the ever-living shit skid out of me and finding out that he definitely isn't friendly. I find the life pod and every cunt in there is definitely dead. But I don't care because I find all the paths to a Seamoth and a few other goodies as well. There's an important life lesson here. If all your friends are dead, just scan everything around them and you're bound to find something good. I head home and I immediately receive another distress call. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. This time, I don't care. I've got a base to build. It's been two days on this planet, and I think it's only necessary to prepare for the long haul. I finish up with the supplies that I had, and it's clear I'm no architect, as you can see by this absolute catastrophe. What a fucking disaster. At least I have a scanner room now, which allows me to look for specific items if I need to. That's when we find out that there is a nearby ship 
the Sunbeam, who is radioing us. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. We can't respond, but they're asking if we still need assistance. I finally head to the life pod from before, and big surprise, there is no one alive. Probably because I chose not to head there immediately, but there were greater needs at hand, such as building my base. They so kindly have left the blueprint for a compass, which is extremely helpful. I head back to the base and try and spice it up a bit with a fish tank. The game doesn't let me, so I put a little wardrobe in there instead. That's when we get another radio ping. We head back to our radio, and it's the sunbeam again. They are now aware that we have crash landed. They're on the way to help us. Aurora, this is sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. I just made my base, you fucking cretins. Go back to your own solar system. I don't need your help. I crack the shits and start eating some bladder fish when I get a warning that the aurora is about to explode. And it does so brilliantly. That was fucking cool. Knowing that now I'm entirely fucked, I decide to head to the Aurora. I eat some food and clear out my inventory. Who knows what I'll come across or come back with. On my way there, I notice a shift in all of the fish going from kind and polite, like Gary, to complete angry cunts who will try to kill you as soon as they can. Then I hear a loud growl, and question my entire life up until this point. I keep moving forward, and that's when I see it. That fucking thing. Oh my god, it's huge, and I hate it. I decide I need to get to the Aurora ASAP, as I don't want to become a fish's afternoon snack. And when I get on board, I get this message. Warning, ship structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Fuck my life. I came all this way, not even thinking about fire extinguishers or a laser cutter, because all six brain cells of mine couldn't collectively come together for once and think logically. I just watched this ship explode, why the fuck didn't I think to bring fire extinguishers? I ponder around the ship for five minutes, not wanting to get back into the water, and when I do, I cry all the way back to my base because that was absolutely terrifying. I called it there because there was a stream of piss and shit running down my leg and I needed a shower. Uh, that'll be all for today. Thanks for watching the video and all of the support on my recent videos it's been really good to see uh i love all you mag cunts um don't forget to like comment subscribe if you just want to see some more shenanigans cheers cunts have a good one